today we're going to do a um, Italian meatloaf and this is my recipe that I came up with this a few years ago and I really really like it okay so we're gonna start out we're going to do one pound of ground beef we're going to do one pound of freshly made Italian sausage all right then we're going to add one teaspoon of black pepper one teaspoon of salt one tablespoon of dried oregano all right then we're going to add one teaspoon of ground garlic fresh garlic one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce then we're going to add one quarter of a cup of uh, pizza sauce you can use uh, spaghetti sauce if you want but I prefer the taste of pizza, pizza sauce then we got one quarter of a cup fresh ground onions two large eggs one cup freshly shaved Parmesan cheese if you can't get the fresh shaved Parmesan the uh, Parmesan in the uh, in the little canister things you can use uh, I'd say probably half a cup or so um, then we're gonna mix all this together all right now we're going to do a cup scant of fresh crushed up no salt saltine crackers all right now I'm going to be using a uh, let's see what this is it's a uh, oh well I don't think it has a size on it it's a regular loaf pan I've got a couple of old vintage loaf pans that I use I love this stuff it is so good all right put it in your pan and just kind of work it around just kind of go back and forth like this because you want the, the sides to be like that so the uh, extra grease and fat and stuff like that will sink to the side and we can uh, pour it off this will serve up to about five to six people for one meal if there's just two of you or one you can use smaller loaf pans make two and once the, once you cool it down put uh, foil over it and put it in the freezer it freezes really well we're going to put aluminum foil over the top of it all right all right we're, we're going to bake this at 400 degrees and we're going to bake it for about 90 minutes at the 70 minute mark pull it out drain off your extra oil and grease put your ketchup on it do not put the cover back on and put it back in the oven for an extra 20 minutes all right it's about 80 minutes later and now we're going to take it out and we're going to put our ketchup on it you can use pasta sauce if you want to on this it's just that I like the taste of the ketchup that once the ketchup cooks all right let's put it back in the oven for about 20 minutes or until the ketchup starts cooking look at there guys doesn't that look good yes sir look at there
Now we're going to top that with a little bit of shade parmesan. Then I'm going to have put some uh, steamed vegetables. Sometimes I will take uh, bow tie pasta, cook it, take a little bit of half and half, put it on a, in a pan, and get it really hot. Not boiling, just hot. Look at there, guys. I'll get half and half, like really, really hot without boiling it. And then I will put one teaspoon of Italian seasoning in it. And then I shred fresh Parmesan cheese in it. And sometimes I'll put a little bit of mozzarella in it and I just let it sit there and simmer until it gets real thick and then pour it over the pasta to go with this. It is so good. All right, guys. Now, this is my recipe. I came up with this. Really good. And I hope you guys give it a try. Have a good night.